What's up guys, Lou here, and today I'm gonna to be taking you on the official office tour. You've been waiting for it for a long time, and today you finally get a chance to take a closer look at the brand new Unbox Therapy headquarters. We have everything set up, so you can check out how we work and also how we relax. We have a gaming setup in there and everything else, so come along for the ride and I'll give you guys a closer look. So this is the lounge area at the Unbox Therapy headquarters and as you can tell this is where the lounging takes place. This is where people relax, take a little break or even after work maybe play some games, etc. So as you can see over here on the far side, this is the anchor of the whole space. It's my 55 inch flat panel from Samsung. I did a video on it, you can go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. I will link all the products mentioned in this video down in the description so the description is your friend. Go and check it out. But anyways, we got the 55 inch flat panel, really nice panel. Below it, some better speakers because you know, flat panels aren't the greatest at reproducing audio. So this is the JBL, I believe it's the SB200, I might be wrong. But uh, anyways, it's a sur surround sound like speaker that outputs a virtualization of surround sound. So a small package, yet it still sort of feels like sound is coming at you from a number of different directions. I've got a little bit of storage down below and a couple of other items down here. This is a, a little PC that I made a while ago, mini ITX PC. As we move across, you can see in this case, this bookcase slash cabinet that I recently put in, we've got on display some of the different products and product boxes of things that have been featured on the channel, some stuff that hasn't been featured yet, uh, some stuff you'll recognize for sure. You can see in here we got the PS3 box, the BlackBerry Z10 box or Z10 if you're in the US, um, some headphones, we have all the Nexus devices as well. You can see uh, there's the box for the Nexus S, the Galaxy Nexus, the Nexus 4, of course. We've also got the new wireless charging orb. Uh, there's some iPhone boxes up above that. And then down here, you can see my MacBook box. There's the latest iPad box. I mean, really so many boxes. Here is the head from the Killzone 3 Hellcast edition. That's an unboxing from a long time ago. Still a really cool thing to put on display. And as we move down a little bit further, you'll see some consoles. This, this is the PlayStation 3 in white, of course, the super slim model. And then we've also got the DNS 323 from D-Link. That's a backup device, which is networked. You can stick two hard drives in there and then all the computers in the office space can access those hard drives for backup or for file sharing, etc. The Nintendo Wii U is also in here. Um, and then as we move down a little bit further, you'll see the brand new receiver. This is an Onkyo receiver, full details, like I said before, and the linkage will be down in the description. And the idea here is that I've got all the HDMIs from these different devices feeding into the receiver so then I can only send one nice clean HDMI to the television so I don't have to be worried about having a big mess right in front of the TV. You've also got the uh, limited edition Xbox 360 down there, the Halo 4 limited edition console, which also came with the game, of course. That's also down in that location in case you guys missed it. So that's one of my favorite designs on the Xbox 360. It's got that kind of translucent design. So everything will be hooked up shortly, but I did want to get this office tour out to you guys. So this is just sort of a first look at some of the items inside of the new office space. Moving up, you can see some of the statues, they're called figurines, action figures, whatever you want to call them. These are the guys that ship with all those collector's editions that have been featured on Unbox Therapy in the past. We've got, of course, stuff from Uncharted. We've got stuff from Infamous. We've got stuff from Ghost Recon, um, Killzone, Max Payne over here, Batman, Gears of War as you move along a little bit more, Assassin's Creed. So lots of different game franchises represented through the statues that come with those limited and collector's edition box sets that Unbox Therapy is famous for featuring, of course. 
And as we move down in this cabinet on the other side, you can see some other items, some other boxes as well. We've got, you know, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 special edition console, with the special edition controllers and the game and the 320 gig hard drive. The system is actually still in there, not in use at the moment. We are using the controllers and we will use that one shortly. There's also a box to the camera I use, the Canon yeah, 60D, which is a very popular camera for video makers here on YouTube. And then as I open this case up a little bit more, you can see some of the, some of the stuff that isn't so pretty that we have to store, like our different tools and stuff are down at the bottom. And then of course more boxes. You have the tournament stick, the Street Fighter tournament stick up there, as well as the Sony 3D viewer. This is the personal 3D viewer so that you can lay back on the couch and get really an incredible 3D experience. Uh, if you guys missed that video, you should definitely check it out and more details on that are down in the description as well. Uh, the last thing to mention on the far side over here is where all the games are. This is a special sort of game case. So it's a, a really easy way to store all of them. We've got some PlayStation 3 games at the top. Who knows, with the new consoles coming out, you know, we'll probably have to make a couple more shelves for all the new games that come out too. There's also some Wii U games down at the very bottom as you move down and a couple of Blu-rays, but a pretty good collection. So the other thing to mention over in this corner right here is our mini fridge, which is very important uh, because, you know, people get thirsty working up here in the HQ. And this is where we keep all of our beverages. Right now we've got pretty much one, no, two beverages. You can either have water or an imported beer. No, I shouldn't say these are all imported. Most of them are imported. I told Will to go pick up some beers a couple days ago, and I said, listen, if you can't pronounce the name on the side of the tall can, then buy it, because that's, that's what we're looking for. So anyways, lots of imported tall cans in here. Um, so hey, if you want one, here you go. There you go, for you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, on top here, we have the G27 race wheel. Uh, this is world famous race wheel, of course. And uh, whenever you know we're playing, playing some racing games, we can pull that baby out and set it up. But it kind of lives here on display when it's not in use. Uh, we also got the new leather couch, brand new, brand new leather couch. I've been saying that we're going to get a couch in this space for a while, and the guys have, you know, been nagging me about it, saying, Lou, we got nowhere to sit, nowhere to chill. So we picked up this couch. It's a pretty cool look, I think, and it makes the space quite a bit more welcoming. And as we move along over here, this is where the controllers live, as well as some other sort of general storage. But you guys have seen the uh, special controller video by now. So you've already seen most of these in detail, but this is the drawer they live in. So when you're playing a game, whatever, it's really easy to reach over, grab an extra controller for somebody else, whether it be Xbox, PlayStation, uh, the Nintendo Wii U or otherwise. So that's a quick look at the lounge. Now let's move over to my actual work setup. So this is my work setup. You can see it's dominated by the 27 inch display. This is the cinema display, Thunderbolt display, whatever you want to call it. Sports a large resolution, of course, 2560 in terms of pixels across, well above 1080p, so that's gonna mean a lot of workspace for me. You know, I'm doing a lot of web stuff, a lot of video stuff, so having a little bit of workspace is always a good thing. Uh, you've also got my microphone right over here. This is a broadcast quality mic. Uh, full specs are down in the description like everything else, but this is what makes me sound beautiful. It is the Electro Voice RE20 and it's specifically designed for spoken words, so for broadcast, etc. So it works really well for all my voiceovers and all the voice work that I do. Also, the world famous XB500s from Sony, which I'm always talking about, an incredible value, stupid comfortable, of course I mean that in a good way. They're really light. I could do a little fashion show for you guys. Yeah, check that out. They're not the prettiest looking headphones, but who cares, because if you're like me, you spend a lot of your day with headphones on your head, and comfort is probably more important than anything else. So I'm a big fan of these. They're incredibly affordable. I'll link them down in the description. If you can still find these, you have to pick them up. Incredible value. Um, we've also got the DAS keyboard. This is the Mac version. So you have your Mac keys on here, like your command key, etc. It's a mechanical keyboard. So it helps me get work done faster. Uh, of course, you know, most people feel that mechanical keyboards are far more precise when they're typing out long emails. You've also got my audio interface down here. I'm a big fan of this audio interface. It's the Apogee One. It's a USB interface and has really high quality 
analog to digital converters. So what that means is that when you speak, you're speaking in, in an analog way and it's up to your interface to then turn that into digital information. Apogee has some of the best converters out there and this one's amazing because it's in such a small form factor. It's portable, I can take it with me on trips and still keep that high quality audio when I send my broadcast quality mic into that interface. So there's no point in having a good mic if you don't have a good interface to receive that audio signal. You've also got my MacBook Pro over here. That's at the heart of the entire setup. That's still what I'm running today as my main laptop. This of course is a 2011, late 2011 model, but I did so many upgrades to it and I customized it in so many ways that I just didn't want to say goodbye to it. You know, I replaced the uh, optical drive with a hard drive and I also replaced the traditional hard drive with an SSD. You can see the entire operation in a video. Hopefully I can link that as well. So many links in the description. You must check the description. But anyways, it is of course my trusty MacBook Pro that has not let me down. 15 inch of course. And uh, as, far, as far as specs go, it is a quad core. So it's, it's fairly snappy when it comes to video work if I have to do video work on it. You've also got my favorite mouse on the planet. It is the Performance MX from Logitech. I say it's my favorite just because of the ergonomics, you know, the way that it fits into my hand. Also the number of buttons. I'm a big fan of using, you know, Expose and, and Spotlight and a number of other things in Mac OS 10. So this makes things a little bit easier. I don't have to reach for my keyboard. Beside that you can see an iPad mini, which I'm probably using more than any other tablet right now. I have the smart cover in red. A lot of people did this red on black sort of selection when it came to the smart cover on the iPad mini. So that, that I'm using more than any other tablet right now. I think mainly because the battery life is so amazing and also for some reason just because you know I'm not reaching for the larger ones, maybe because I spend so much time on the computer with a larger screen anyways, I don't really know. Um, moving along a little further, you can see my Nexus 4, my daily driver in terms of smartphones. It's sitting on top of the wireless charging orb. So for those of you that were wondering why you'd want a wireless charger, it's because I just strictly pull it off like this and then just place it back down throughout the day. I never forget to do so. That's just where the device lives and it's always charging because of that. So a really cool sort of way to keep your phone in an upright position in a docked sort of position so you can see notifications, text messages, etc., coming in, but you're still charging at the same time on a nice little base like that without the need to you know, wiggle with the little micro USB that I'm not a huge fan of. So it is a convenience thing and it is overpriced, but it'll be linked down below nonetheless, like everything else. Next, you have a small Dell screen over here, which I've had for a little while and I still really like. It's actually sort of like a computer monitor and a TV in one in a couple of different ways. It's got an HDMI input, which not all monitors back then had when this one was purchased. It's also got a pretty decent speaker system on the bottom with a headphone output. So that means that I can, you know, just very easily plug in headphones or a headset, depending on what I'm doing. I have the Gears of War 3 Xbox hooked up over here. So the Halo 4 Xbox is hooked up to the, the big display over in the lounge. And I've got the Gears of War 3 limited edition Xbox hooked up over here with a pair of Astro A40s up on top. There you go. With the MLG tags, trust me, I ain't no MLG caliber player, but I can pretend. Um, so anyways, that's going into this screen right here. And because this is based on a computer monitor, there is really no input lag at all. And another reason that I really like to game on a small screen is for some reason I find it easier to sort of track, you know, players, especially in like first person shooters, etc. You can really see the entire frame a lot better than on a big panel. So I would definitely recommend if you want to get competitive with gaming, if you're not just, if it's not strictly entertainment and you, and, and you want to do a little bit better, think about a smaller monitor on a desk or something like that. Um, this one, I'm not sure if you can still get it, but I'll link something similar down below. Um, you can get something similar from Samsung and they're really affordable, you know, a couple hundred bucks and you're ready to go. On the desk, you've also got the beautiful, the wonderful um, Nexus 10, which is of course incredibly nice to look at. You've got that ridiculous pixel density on there and it's incredibly thin too. So this is just a beautiful device to show things off. If you want to show somebody a video really quickly and pass it over to them, this is really a beautiful way to do so. Most of you guys have seen some of my coverage on the Nexus 10. You're also going to find the Modern Warfare 3 
uh, special edition controller. That one, it's kind of funny, that one's hooked up to the Gears of War uh, 3 Xbox right now, but that's just, that just worked out that way for the purpose of this video. You got my backup drive over there, that's a LeC drive. I believe it's only one terabyte, I will need something bigger uh, very shortly because I'm running out of space in terms of backups, I'm having to overwrite backups right now. You have the PlayStation Vita, which also is featuring some special grips. You see these grips right here make it a lot more comfortable to hold, especially if you have average to large size hands. It feels a lot more like a traditional controller, remaps the trigger buttons as well. That's a very, very cool little contraption to make your Vita a little bit more comfortable. And of course the Vita is there as well. My knife, which everybody is always asking about, this once and for all will be listed down in the description so you can finally go buy one if you really want one that badly. It's a cool little knife from a company called Cricut or CRKT. And it opens in a unusual fashion. So you press this little function, uh, portion up here and it flips out like that. So it flips out from the side, you close it in the same way. A lot of people get freaked out when I first show it to them. They don't feel comfortable using it that way, but it's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. And it is a really cool blade and a conversation starter, but I wouldn't want you to start too many conversations with it, especially for the wrong reasons. So anyways, check that out down in the description. You finally know now which knife you've been seeing in a lot of my unboxing videos. Down here, the last thing in my setup, or the second last thing, you can see my favorite bag right now. This is a Tenba bag, which is what I carry all my gear in. It's actually a camera bag, but it has a laptop portion in it as well. So it's a really easy way to carry some lenses, maybe an SLR body like the 60D, but still have room for a laptop and everything's really padded. It's actually been through a lot, traveled with me a lot, and still very tough. Available in a few different colors. The last item, I almost forgot, Maybe my pride and joy, this is the uh, Embody Chair from Herman Miller. It's not cheap, and I know a lot of you guys are going to go crazy when you click the link down below and see the price on this thing. I'm not going to tell you right now. you got to go check out the link to find out. But um, it's a little bit expensive, but hey, I sit in it every day. I spend a lot of time in it, and it is very comfortable, very adjustable, and uh, I really couldn't do without it at this point in my life. So if you work on a computer, if that's how you make your money, if that's your profession, then definitely check out the Herman Miller Embody Chair down in the description. So beside my desk is our production space. This is where all of the content gets created, or at least most of it. All the unboxing videos take place on this table right here. A lot of you guys ask me how I get that nice white background. Well, it's a white table against a white wall. You get a nice little sort of white heavenly looking box, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Some people have commented that that's what it looks like in the past. Uh, we've also got this cool contraption here that allows for the camera to hang upside down to get that overhead perspective. Of course, with the 60D, you could take the screen out, flip it in such a manner that you could still get really nice, a really nice visual in order to monitor what's going on underneath the lens. So this is, this is really something that makes our video special, I think, and uh, something that I, I think I pioneered, at least this exact setup. This back backdrop, or it's not really a backdrop, but it's meant to hold a backdrop. And the concept here is that if you're, you know, trying to green screen something, you can, you know, pull up a backdrop over top of this. But we're using it, of course, in a different way in order to get those overhead shots. I'm not going to go over too many specs on the exact details on these different things because it can get, you know, really long winded with the model names. But just trust that everything here will be listed down in the description. So that's where you can find it all. Over here, you can see all our different tripods. Um, once again, I'm not gonna give all the models right here. I don't wanna bore you guys. If you're really interested in knowing which ones I use, then just look down below. There's the Philip Bloom pocket dolly down at the very bottom there, which is basically a slider. That's, that's what gives you all those really brilliant, you know, beautiful looking sliding shots, panning shots, etc. So that's a quick look at the production space. A lot of you guys have been asking about this in the past, so now you know this should give you a much better idea of how we create content, especially the actual unboxing portion of that content. Hey guys, my name is Will, uh, AKA Will the Intern, and let's check on my desk. Um, here you have some designs here that I got going on. Um, this is an Asus 27 inch monitor. Over here we have the XB500s, which I rock pretty much every day to listen to music. You copied me. I did, yes I did. <laughs> Um, here, this is my pride and joy, uh, my 13-inch MacBook, 
and it also has an upgrade of a Samsung 830 128 gigabyte SSD and it's also souped up with 16 gigabytes of RAM and regular Mac keyboard. Um, here is the Corsair Vengeance M90 series and you know it's pretty much off the top but I like it because of the weight has a really nice feel to it. Um, this is where I do a lot of sketching. My sketchbook here, you can kind of take a look at uh, what I like to do. Oh. There you go. And yeah, that's pretty much it. What's up guys, it's Kirk. Uh, I do the video production and video editing for Unbox Therapy and the other channels that we do. Uh, we're here to take a look at my desk, so let's hop in. As you can see, I'm rocking 27 Dooleys hooked up to my 8-core Mac Pro. That's just your standard model, but we're gonna beef up the graphics card in a bit. We just got the cables coming in, so hopefully soon I'll be, be rocking three monitors so I can have a bin window as well. Pretty much I do all my editing over here. We're working on a Premiere workflow. So you got the timeline, the browser, and then you have this as the video mains, so you can pump out all the stuff. After that, you can see I got the latest gen iPad hooked up to the dangle here so I can just like rock out on some social media while I'm working, check the unbox Twitter feed and all that. Coming back around the desk, you can see I like, a, I like it pretty minimal. I always have a spot here for my Tim Hortons coffee because I'm the Bob Izumi of the office. Uh, next to that, I got my iPhone just on the desk chilling so I can see what, who's text messaging me. It's an iPhone 4S. Then I got the magic mouse coming in because I need the side to sides on the timeline. I can't stand only having it up and down. I need side to sides. It increases my efficiency by like 200%. Next to that, I got the Bluetooth mini keyboard. It's pretty nice. I don't really need it. I'm just rocking like this most of the day, so it's all right. After that, we got the Airport Express, which is giving my computer Wi-Fi. Underneath the table is where I keep my stinky boots as well as my power surge protector thing. But that's pretty much it, that's my desk. So here we are over at the gear table. This is where we house all the stuff. We keep it close to my desk because I'm grabbing at it most of the day. Uh, over here we got a Tamron 28 to 75 full frame lens. It's pretty nice. One of the first purchases I made for my 60D, which I also shoot with. We got the case of SDs and storage and stuff. We got a 50 mil 1.8 Canon. That's pretty nice. It's really low light, which is why I like it. Then we have a, the Zeiss lens cleaning kit because stuff gets dirty in here and it's all white so you can see specs pretty easily. Then we got the SD pile, the SD reader, the lens cloth. We got an old zoom, which is what I guess Lou used to use back in the day. Right now we're using an H2. We got this pistol grip thing, which is all right. And then we got the Rode video mic, which we use when we're like gorilla shooting, doing a bunch of stuff out and about. After that, this is the graphics card that we're gonna soup my Mac Pro up with. Hopefully I'm gonna have some three monitors coming out of that pretty soon. So that'll be pretty sweet. Get a rack on all those bits. You can get full descriptions in the details for this. And that's pretty much it, that's the gear table. there you have it. You guys have had a behind the scenes look at the new Unbox Therapy headquarters. You get to see how we work, how we relax, and most importantly, you get to see the birthplace of all your favorite unboxing videos. If you guys enjoyed this content, please be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. As you know, it does help out a bunch. And as mentioned a number of times in this video, if you want more information, if you want pricing availability on any of the products mentioned, any of the stuff we use here in the headquarters, all you gotta do is check out the description down below. Thanks as always for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video, later.